My research focuses on persuasion. And by persuasion, basically we mean getting people to feel a certain way, getting people to think a certain way. In particular, I looked at fear arousing persuasive messages. One message dealing with bicycle helmets, one message dealing with alcohol consumption, and a third message dealing with uh, tetanus vaccinations. In the high fear condition, we told folks, if you don't wear a bicycle helmet, you're going to experience some type of harm to your body. In the low fear message condition, people were basically told, look, if you don't wear a bicycle helmet, you might chip your tooth, you might scrape your knee, but those threats aren't that significant. We found that when people were afraid, they were much more likely to be persuaded. The problem is that many times those types of results are short-lived or they're not very strong. So we might be able to scare people initially and get them to change their attitude, but that doesn't always translate into long-term persuasive solutions. When we look at other pieces of evidence, when we look at other data, we might make better decisions because we have more information available to us. Pausing, reflecting, and then making a conscious choice. We call that self-efficacy. That is, they need to be able to do something. In other words, giving people very doable behaviors that they can adopt so that they can make the kinds of differences that will be useful, helpful, and healthy.